Welcome to Monday Night Rollins. Is that was was that a good? Was that good enough for introduction for Monday Night Raw or for my Monday Night Raw talk? I think it's good enough. Let's just jump into it. The show was opened by Drew McIntyre cutting an incredible promo of why he joined Judgment Day. Did he actually join the Judgment Day? What happened last week with the Judgment Day, with Seth, with Cody, with Jay and all of that stuff? It was just chef's kiss, if I can say this. And he just said this, that he joins the Judgment Day match just so he can be against Jay because Jay costed everything for him. Clash of the Castle and everything. Dude, this dude cannot forget about Clash of the Castle. But anyway, Jay came out and he was like, Drew, yeet, yeet, let's do it. And uh, he was about to fight Drew, but the Judgment Day came out. He backed up Drew. And after that, Cody, Seth and Sammy came out. They backed up Jay. They were about to fight. But Adam Pierce was like, okay, this is not happening tonight. First off, Cody said, uh, Jay and... Sammy, you should find a fifth member for your match. And also, tonight, the main event will be against one of these two teams, uh, like 1v1. And you should choose who these people are gonna be. And of course, the main event was Jey Uso versus Drew McIntyre. And I'm gonna talk about this later. After that, Nia Jax versus Raquel Rodriguez, actually kind of exciting match because they're kind of two big ladies, even though Raquel Rodriguez is just, just jacked, pumped and all of that, and Nia just big. Uh, but anyway, it was an interesting kind of match. What I don't like is not the fact that Nia Jax won, what I don't like is the fact that her finisher is basically sitting on her opponent. That's all I'm gonna say. Next, Becky Lynch versus Zaya Lee. I waited for an opportunity for Zaya for way too long and she delivered. It was 10 out of 10 match. Actually, I don't know if I can say it was 10 out of 10, but it was a good match. It was a decent match and a lot of these matchups with Zaya Lee doesn't make a lot of sense but I'm gonna talk about this on the next video for NXT, but Becky won the match. It kinda, kinda makes sense Becky to win the match because if Becky loses the match, it's kind of where is Becky at right now and if Zaya loses, it's just another Zaya loss. But anyway, it was a good match nonetheless, no matter who was the victor, but yeah, Becky won, Zaya lost. Next, Johnny Gargano versus Ludwig Kaiser. Last week, Ludwig Kaiser faced the Master Champa, and uh, basically he won because Giovanni Vinci interfered and he helped Ludwig Kaiser. And Gunther was like, Giovanni, very good. And Ludwig Kaiser was pissed because he wants to take all the credit, but. Tonight, he said to Giovanni Vinci just to stay in the back and do nothing because he wants to handle everything on his own. But Giovanni Vinci came out and he kind of costed Ludwig the match. I mean, Ludwig lost. And after that, Gunther was like, Giovanni, I like you. What you did there, you tried your best, but Ludwig, you never learn and all of that crap. And I kind of don't understand what is going on there. But it is what it is. Women's Tag Team Championship number one contender fatal four-way match. Maxine Dupree and Ivy Nile. The second team was Natalia and Tegan Knox. The third team was Katana Chance and Kate, Casey Carter or something like this. And it doesn't really matter who the last team was. I just can't remember right now. Uh, I mean... Raw was on Monday, today is Friday, but uh, yeah, uh, Tegan Ox and Natalia won, uh, which was a shocker, because I kind of wanted Maxine Dupree to win, but I guess they're a pretty new tag team in order to win. I I'm okay with this. I mean, the whole match happened like a little bit of a last minute and no preparation, no build-up whatsoever, but I hope for the next match we have some sort of build-up, even though the match is on next Monday, so I don't know. After that, we had Chad Gable versus versus ver versus versus ver versus 
Shinsuke Nakamura and Shinsuke won and Shinsuke is doing these backstage segments of like I'm waiting for you, where are you, how much time I'm gonna wait for you and there are a couple of rumors online who is gonna be his next opponent, his next victim for the longest time I thought that this is Seth Rollins that he's talking about and he's basically teasing Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke number three but apparently there is another person uh, I don't want to say who these people who are rumored are, but um, I guess on Survivor Series we are gonna understand who is gonna face Shinsuke, but it's exciting times. I mean, a lot of teasers, a lot of big stuff happening, so yeah. After that, The Miz and Gunther face off and it felt real, it felt good. I didn't know that Miz is one title reign away from being the, the, the person with the most intercontinental championship reigns. It would be cool if he's tied with Chris Jericho. I didn't know that Chris Jericho is the first one in that list. And um, yeah, but I still feel like Chad Gable is the person who is going to dethrone Gunther, but I don't know. I feel like uh, Miz and Gunther is not a fair matchup. Gunther feels super strong stronger than Miz and also the Miz kind of got the upper hand on that face off so I doubt that Miz is gonna win the title but it would be cool if the Miz was like tied with Chris Jericho and after that he becomes the person with the most intercontinental championship reigns. Last but not least Drew McIntyre versus Yeet Jay Uso and um, Drew McIntyre won the advantage match for the survival games and basically it's gonna be 2 on 1, 3 on 2, 4 on 3, 5 on 4 until the last second and the highlight of the night was that Judgment Day came out, out the good guys came out, I'm gonna tell that they're the good guys, I don't wanna say again Cody said uh, Sammy whatever and Cody was like we found fifth member and we had certain legacy together and he's the apex predator and people are chanting his name and oh my god i was about to piss my pants i was about to piss my pants when uh, when i understood that randy orton is coming back it's been two years or more since uh, his uh, last match and the interesting part is that the person who injured him is on his team so i don't know what's gonna happen but i'm excited to see randy back i want to see him in a good shape i don't care if he's gonna throw another rko the first thing i want to see randy in is in a good shape and if i see a, a, an rko i'm gonna piss my freaking pants yeah that's it if i was the rate monday night rollins i would have given it a solid seven out of ten it was a good show, everyone. It was a good show. A lot of build-up for the survival games. They're not... They're war games. It's survival series. It's war game. Anyways, but it's a build-up. A lot of uh, matches that are not squash matches. Uh, the Xyli match, the, the match for the tag team titles. It was solid 7 out of 10. Nothing less, nothing more. Good. So, without any... Thing else to say thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next one peace